Rachel, have you ever thought every time that we throw a ball up, it comes down? Why does this happen? What pulls everything towards the earth? Babe, it's called gravity. In the simplest words, there is a force in earth that pulls everything down. That's why a ball goes high in the air but comes back on ground and not just ball. It happens with all the objects. You know, who discovered gravity? I don't know. It was the great scientist Sir Isaac Newton. Once Newton sat under an apple tree. When an apple fell down, it made him think, why do all the objects fall down and not up or sideways? That's how the idea of gravity came in. Wow! How those small things that happen daily and are not noticed have a great reason behind them. As Einstein said, look for the why. Hey guys, if you do not know the Einstein story, check out our interesting video on Einstein. So Rachel, tell me more about Newton, his childhood, his achievements and his discoveries. Isaac Newton was born on 4th January 1643 in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire in England. His father was also named Isaac and he was a rich farmer. Sadly, Newton's father died three months before Newton was born. When Newton was three, his mother was remarried and Newton was left with his grandmother. Oh, that was sad. Did he go to school? How did he become a great scientist? Well, yes, it was a tough childhood for Newton. But as they say, nothing is too hard to achieve if you are determined. Newton studied in King's School in Grantham and there he was introduced to the fantastic world of chemistry. Oh, chemistry? You mean the study of chemicals? Yes, absolutely. But Newton's mother wanted him to take care of their big farm and Newton failed badly as a farmer. So he was sent back to school. Later, he was sent to Cambridge in 1661 for further studies. You know, that was a time when people were studying about planets, space, moon and what not. Newton was excited to be among such great minds. He graduated with very good grades. So, he was given financial support for higher education. Wow! That sounds like a happy story. Well, Pip, things may not go as we plan, but it's always important to keep trying continuously, even in tough times. In 1665, a deadly disease called plague hit the entire Europe. So, the university was closed for two years. Holidays for two years? He must have enjoyed. I would have loved it. Learning never stopped for Newton. It was during this time that Newton got most of his scientific ideas, including the idea of gravity. Remember the apple story I told you in the beginning? Yes, I remember. It's strange how simple events turn out to be the basis of great scientific discoveries. Yes, another very simple thought that came to Newton's mind was what is light made of? Later, he discovered that light is made up of different colors. You know what are those colors? Yes, the colors of the rainbow. Hey friends, let's name the colors of the rainbow together. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Yay! But did he go back to the university? Yes, the plague was over and Newton went back to Cambridge after two years. There he became the professor of mathematics just at the age of 26, the youngest professor ever in Cambridge. That's fantastic! He was really intelligent. 
not just intelligent pep he was hard working too he used to read a lot he observed the simple things that happened around him and always asked for a why yeah trying to find the reason behind everything that happened newton invented a new type of maths which he called flux science now we call it calculus calculus is used in advanced science and engineering studies newton also invented a telescope what's a telescope it helps us see things that are far from us people see the stars and planets with a telescope oh that must have been a very useful invention yes it was but newton never stopped his work his success encouraged him to do more and more and more in 1687 In his famous book Principia, Newton gave the three laws of motion. Laws of motion? What are those? Well, the first law says that anything will stay stationary or in motion unless you apply an external force to change its state. The second law says that force is equal to the multiplication of mass and acceleration. And the third law says that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Hey friends, if you want to know more, check out our video on Newton's laws of motion. Rachel, all these inventions and discoveries must have made Newton a famous man. Yes, he was famous. and well respected in the scientific community in the year 1703 he was elected the president of the royal society and in 1705 newton was knighted by queen anne that's why he is called sir isaac newton and not mr isaac newton or professor isaac newton absolutely newton's life is an example of how continuous efforts can make you successful and who knew that a boy who saw so many problems in his childhood would turn out to be one of the greatest scientists of all times so friends tell us what have you learned from this inspiring story of sir isaac newton write in the comment box below and if you want to know more about him then visit our website www.makemegenius.com to find amazing facts quiz and activities about newton we will be back soon with the story of yet another famous personality meanwhile as christmas is approaching don't forget to watch our story of santa claus and have fun with lots and lots of activities on christmas at www.makemegenius.com see you soon